So I've trimmed all of the uh, stepper cables to length and I've also cut lengths of uh, earth cable for them. Um, now I'm going to just peel back a bit of the sheath and I'll show you uh, adding the boot laces and preparing these cables uh, ready to be attached to the drives. So the first step <coughs> is to uh, cut back a bit of the sheath. Again, um, go for a good 30mm or so. Uh, you, uh, don't want to be too stingy. Now on this one though, just remember you need to keep the shielding, not dispose of it. Wow, that is quite generous. Now you can keep as many or as few of these wires as you want within reason because all they're going to be used for is to connect to the earth. So uh, as long as you keep a few you'll be alright. I'm going to just twist them all together here. Just uh, tin those wires up. Okay, and then you can trim off a good portion of it. You certainly don't need that much for the connection. Now you want to find the cable that you've cut out for it, that was Z. Uh, strip a little bit of sheath off of this. Tin your earth cable. And then join your earth cable to your shield. Okay. I'm actually quite impressed by that bit of soldering. <laughs> this sheath off. Right, so now you have your cables. Spread them out. We don't we don't need the earth but don't cut it completely off. Um, we'll get rid of that, we'll hide it in the uh, hide it in the heat shrink. So as we're putting boot laces on here, you need a bit more stripped than you do for the other connectors. <clears throat> Don't forget to cut out your rubber centre.
As with the other connectors, you want to make sure that you that you have all your cables exactly the same length. Um, this is somewhat more important at this end, I think, because uh, you the the way the case is wired, or the way the case is laid out, makes the connection down into the drive less than easy. So you need to do everything you can to make it as easy as it can be. So with boot laces you just slip them over the end, push them home. Right, you want you want to be able to just see the end of the copper, so that one needs a fraction more taken off it. All right, so sorry about that. Phone call getting in the way of a perfectly good filming session. Wouldn't be so bad, but it was a cold caller. Scum of the earth. I mean, if you're wondering, it was Vodafone. Right, so that's all four boot laces put on. And then the final step. Grab a little bit of heat shrink. Slide it up, make sure you bend your earth back out of the way. You don't want that interfering. Cover up the solder joint. And then blast it. There we go. All done. Right then, so that's the four stepper cables in. Um, there you go. You can see the four lots of wire in there. And it flows around here, up there, and then springs forth there. Um, <clears throat> annoyingly, this cable is a fraction short, but I'm going to live with it because these do stick down slightly into the case and if it was much longer then they would press down on that cable which I wouldn't particularly like. This one is perhaps 20mm uh, too long. Um, I would have liked it to have just followed with these, um, followed the path of these but it, it just hangs slightly slightly below but nah, not too bad uh, I don't think it's worth I'd have to cut all these connectors off and trim it back and resolder it and <laughs> can I be bothered for 20 mil um, if it was much too long I might do it um, I need to get some zip ties I've run out of small zip ties and I'll just tie these at regular intervals down there um, I could use this uh, cover. I don't know. What, I don't know what the proper name for this is. Um, spiral wrap, I think it's called. Uh, but I think uh, zip ties would be a better option here. Or well, I suppose I could just use tape yeah. rather than zip ties. So there you go. I'm going to call it a night at that. Because so far everything seems to have gone pretty well. I'll speak to you later.